today's video I'm just going to be talking a little bit about my Nissan 350Z, just kind of like little things about it, how I got it, why I got it, sort of things like that. video on about my uh, when I I think the video is titled uh, new tires but first I did a little thing on the end of that video about my Nissan 300 ZX that I used to have I used to have a twin turbo Nissan 300 ZX and uh, I was driving that one for a little bit but uh, the transmission actually went out on me it was an automatic transmission and it ended up just going out the car had like 180,000 miles on it so nothing too surprising but uh and I wanted to get it fixed, but I needed another car to drive in the meantime because I just, I, it was my daily at the time, I just needed another car. So I wasn't just going to go pick up something pretty cheap, whatever, but I decided to uh, actually take out a loan. This is my first loan that I ever got. So I wanted to go get a car that was around $10,000. So I started looking around and stuff, and I didn't really think about a Nissan 350Z at first. I thought they were way more expensive than they actually are. But when I started actually getting into them, started looking at them, I started to realize that they're actually pretty cheap for what you get. So I started browsing Craigslist and stuff like that, and uh, one day this one popped up and it said it was posted about 20 minutes ago. I uh, sent him a text message just saying if the car is still available and if it was, he had it listed for uh, $10,000. So I contacted him and we set up a time to go see it. I think that next week, uh, me and four other buddies, we all took a trip to Denver and went to go check. I had never driven a manual car before, so when we got there, he asked me if I wanted to go take it on a test drive, and I was like, I mean, yeah, I will, but I'm just letting you know, like, I've never driven a manual car before. And he's all like, I don't think he was realizing what I was meaning by that. I think he thought that I still had, like, at least driven a car before, but I, like, told him I do not know how to drive manual. I've never done it before. And he was like, oh, oh well, just jump in. We'll just test it out. And I was like, all right. So I hopped in and uh, I think I killed it three times before I even actually got it to move. All my buddies were sitting there laughing at me the whole time like, oh my gosh. It was super embarrassing. But um, I drove it up and down the road a little bit and I, I love the car. I love it. Was, uh, it only had 83,000 miles on it, I believe. And um, he was a, it was a single owner, so he had been the only person to own it. He said he kept up on all the records and everything and he had a really like... It wasn't like a really nice house, but it was a nice house. It was taken care of and stuff. He had this car. It was super clean. Just everything was super clean about it. And then he also had a Toyota FJ Cruiser. So I felt pretty confident in this dude. Decided I did want to buy the car. And I thought I was, because I previously took out or got approved for a uh, $10,000 loan. But, and I thought it was gonna be ready that day. So we took this car down to the bank and we were gonna go get it ready. And it turns out it wasn't actually ready. Like. There were still some documents that weren't signed, and since I lived in Grand Junction, my bank was in Grand Junction, they needed everything done there, and then they were gonna send it to Denver, and not everything was done yet, so I had to actually go back to uh, Grand Junction, and I wasn't able to get the car for about another week. But uh, about another week went by, we took another trip to Denver, came back, saw it again. Uh, we went down to the bank, we met there, we talked, we uh, did the signing and everything, and the keys were mine and uh so the car was in downtown denver that's where the bank was so he had it parked in this parking lot downtown denver and i had never driven a manual before um my buddy he that well like i said i had four buddies two of them went and drove the other car and then two or one of them came with me my buddy scott he uh he try or he knows how to drive a manual and he's driven a manual before so he was going to be like my little he's going to instruct me on it at first like just to get me going you know so at first we get in the car and it was just like really like I just wasn't getting the grasp of it at first. So I was like, here, you drive it. You tell me like what I, you think I should like focus on, what you think I, you know, like give me some tips. So he jumps in the driver's seat and he starts, or he puts it, or he first tries to take off and he just immediately, you can just tell he hates the clutch. Like he's driven, I think his, uh, his dad used to have a, uh, uh, Subaru BRZ that was manual and then he also has a uh, 7.3 that's manual as well that he daily drives so he was pretty familiar with the manual so I figured he'd be able to catch on to it like really quick but um, he actually hated this car at first like 
he could not drive it. He was like, this car, or this clutch, dude, there's something weird about it, like whatever. And I was just like, okay, whatever. And I was just, I jumped back in the driver's seat. So he was like, he was able to obviously get it going and everything, but it wasn't like a smooth transition. Like we were both like struggling really hard with it. So I was just like, whatever. And I practiced around in this parking lot for a little bit. And I finally was like, all right, I'm just gonna go. And he was like, you could tell he was like, oh, I don't really think you're ready for like actual road, especially in a downtown city like Denver. But I was like, whatever, I'm just gonna do it anyways. So we get on the road and uh, immediately the first stoplight we come to, I kill it, of course. Um, it took a little bit, a couple stoplights to get going. Luckily the uh, inner or the freeway there was actually pretty close. So I didn't have to really go through town, downtown Denver too much. But uh, we pulled up at the stoplight and there was a, an, an STI next to me. And uh, of course I was trying to like, you know, show off a little bit, whatever, even though I just started driving. And uh, we both, or I was gonna try to take off on him a little bit and I fucking killed it right in front of him. It was pretty funny, but um, so yeah, we finally got on the interstate and whatever. But um, so yeah, I paid in total. I paid ten thousand dollars for this car. Um, I'm still paying on it right now. I still have like eight thousand more on my loan, I think. All right, a little bit about the car itself. It is a uh, 2006 Nissan 350Z. It has had one owner before me, so I'm the second owner of this car. The previous owner put about 84,000 miles on it. Since then, I've put about 10,000 miles on it since I've had it. Um, if you don't know too much about the 350Z, they made three different engines for it. The 350Z first came out in 03. It came with uh, what they call a DE engine, and it produced about 287 horsepower. And then in 06 and 07, they, uh, well, in between 06 and 07, they decided to make another tie, like it's another version of the DE engine. They called it the Rev Up. And the Rev Up comes stock with 300 horsepower. And that's actually what this one is. And then from 07 and, uh, and up, it came out with the HR engine. I'm not actually too sure how much the HR makes. I know it's above 310, I want to say. I think it's around like 315-ish, somewhere around there. Don't quote me on that, though. I don't know. As far as plans go for the 350Z, I'm honestly not too sure what I want to do yet. Right now, I'm just saving up to move out so I can get my own place and everything. But, um, so money's not, like, money's not tight, but it's still not, like, something I'm willing to go spend, like, a bunch of money on this car right now. But, um, eventually, I definitely want to get new wheels. I haven't decided on which ones yet. I had a set picked out, but then I, did, I kind of changed it up. I'm not too sure. I don't even know what color I want to go with at this point. Um... As far as performance goes, I would love to do performance stuff to this car, but performance stuff is pretty expensive for what you actually get out of it. I mean, turbo kits usually are upwards seven, eight thousand dollars for this car. Um, there's little things you can do, but they still cost quite a bit, and you don't really get that much power out of it. So I'm not too sure what I'm going to go with there. Um, I don't even know if I want this car to be a performance car. I don't know if I want it to be a drift car. Like, if there was more tracks and stuff in my area, I would definitely go for like a drift setup. But um, as far as I know, there's no tracks here, and there is a drag strip, but I mean, like I said, this car is pretty expensive to start modding, like, for a first mod car. So as for right now, I'm just going to go with, like, aesthetic type stuff, just make it look a little bit better. I might do a couple little performance stuff just to increase the power just a little bit. But, um, so definitely wheels. I want to, I don't, I don't know if this is a realistic thing, or if, like, if I'll actually end up doing this, but I would love to get a wrap on it, because at night, when... When it gets like a little bit darker, if you look at it in the right way, it almost looks pinkish, like around like, I don't know, it just always looks pinkish, like on the hood and the top area, and I don't like that. And uh, my paint is actually super, super rock chipped from the previous owner. He lived in Denver and it's just a lot of trucks there and stuff like that. So it's really rock chipped on the front. So I'd love to get a wrap on it. I'm not too sure what color. I was thinking just a red again, but doing a really bright, vibrant red. So I'm not too sure, but then, that kind of feels like a waste of a wrap. I kind of want to go with something crazy. Not too sure yet, though. Um, I would love to someday wide body this car. That would be awesome. A wide, full wide body kit would be just, that would be awesome. Dreams or goals go for this car. Um, it would be pretty awesome to have this thing uh, boosted at some point. I don't know if I would go supercharger or turbo kit, but it would be pretty awesome to do that. So, if I end up keeping this car that long, I would definitely love to uh, boost it and then have the uh, rocket bunny kit on it or at least a wide body kit. I don't know if I'd go with rocket bunny, but just at least a wide body kit. Um, and then more than likely a drift setup. I would, 
I'm definitely into drifting. I definitely want to be able to like still have it a street car. I don't want to go full out drift with it, but uh, drifting is definitely what I like to do. That's definitely, I think that's what my favorite passion is for as far as that goes. I would love to uh, learn how to drift and get better at it and actually go like on a real track and stuff like that, but it just sucks around this area. There is no drifting to do unless you're going to do it in a big empty parking lot like this. Um, I had a uh, Nissan 300ZX twin turbo before this car. It was an automatic and this car is actually faster than that one even though it's not turbo, it's just naturally aspirated. Um, so the power for this car, I don't feel like it's bad at all, definitely not. Some people do complain about it, but I mean, for what I got the car for, there's not too many other cars that you can get that are like this that can provide you with that kind of power. Now a lot of people will say like Mustangs and that kind of stuff, and like yes, that is true. But um, I was more going towards the JDM type stuff. I mean, I love muscle cars and everything, but uh, they tend to be a little bit more pricey unless you're willing to compensate for a uh, older model or something like that. And I still wanted something fairly new, so that's why I went with this car. Alright, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, or anything on, on the car, on me, anything like that, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section as well. I'd love to hear you guys' feedback. Thanks for watching, guys.